guys, Game Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's 2. In the last episode, we beat Night 1, and in today's episode, we're going to be beating Night 2. Notice how confident I sound with that. Do you know why I sound so confident? Because Night 2 is almost as easy as Night 1. Okay. Yay, phone call. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? It's a smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction, and make them super kid friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might carry over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking that it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think it's pretty mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. As you can see, I was in a non-stop, like, focus. Like, I, my mind was, like, focusing. Oh, no, do not go in that vent. Don't you go in that vent! What am I doing? I'm ignoring the rule I set out in freaking episode one. Just to not check any other cameras. I'm losing my focus. Get back into the focus. Okay. So night two is almost as easy as night one. All you gotta do really is just the same tactics you learned from night one. Just alright, who's in the vents? Bonnie, you're coming at it again. If you couldn't already tell the animat the um, artificial intelligence of all the animatronics increases as the nights go on, so. Who's down there? Who's down there? Chica! Hi, friend. Oh, hi, Mangle! Where'd Chica? Wait. Do it! Just so you know, if Bonnie or Chica, or no, no, not new Bonnie, old Bonnie, or, Ch or new Chica, are standing at the far end of the hall and then they suddenly disappear, they've gone to camera one because they're about to sneak into the left vent. To you. Yep. I've got some double trouble on the scenes. Now who's down there? Oh, hi. Put the mask on. Wait for it. There we go. Ma Whoa, mangle. Hi. You got here quick. There's nothing you can do about the mangle entry. What? No. Balloon boy. Got me. Intriguing fact, Balloon Boy can't kill you, but he can cause your death. What does that mean? Allow me to explain to you. Um, basically, if Balloon Boy gets into your room... Oh, hi, Bonnie. Um, if Balloon Boy gets into your room, he will turn off all your light abilities. Like, he, you won't be able to lose, use your flashlight, you won't be able to turn on the lights, anything. Which, well, oh god, put the mask on. As soon as you hear that noise, put the mask on. Wait for the noise to stop, or in this case, the vents to go bang, bang, bang. Who's down there? Please tell- Oh, Freddy! Hey, how you doing? Oh, God, I didn't check the right vent. That could've been catastrophic if this was in a later vent, later night. Just gotta get into- God! Okay, hi, Freddy. See? See? See what I tell you guys? If you practice, you will succeed. Because guess what? If I hadn't been in that mindset, Freddy would have killed me. Instantaneously. Is 
That's why I feel bad for people who are just starting to play FNAF 2 and they don't know the tricks. And they don't know the strats to win. Oh, shoot! That was so close. Who is texting me? Who dare disturb the patterns of me? The FNAF 2 player. That was so so close, guys. You don't even know. If I hadn't instantaneously came out of that camera and turned put on the mask, would have died. And if it was a later night, I definitely would have died. Don't. Oh, Foxy! Hey, first appearance of Foxy, guys. Uh, yeah. Also, in case you guys have started playing this for yourself and you're wondering, hey, why does he have a bunch of animatronics? Um, plushies on his desk. I don't have those on my desk. Well, that's because I've beaten all of the custom knights, so... Oh. For every custom knight you beat, you get a plushie, so... Interesting trivia fact for you guys. 5 a.m. Home stretch, boys, home stretch. Thinking some double trouble on the scenes. Mangle! Left. She left almost instantaneously. Foxy, go, go, leave me. Ah, uh, again, again, so close. Angle. The mangle's gone. And 6 a.m. Yeah! That means that every, every night is roughly 6 minutes and 45 seconds, because I've got a little time ago. Oh, this. That's gonna do it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video if you enjoyed. And if you really enjoyed, if you really enjoyed sure to click that subscribe button so this is time. And until next time, it's been Game Nights of Gucci signing off saying, Hope you're pretty, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow for Friday to Friday 2. Goodbye.